hello guys welcome to this video another episode on a uh, youtube manometer analysis now let's consider this question on the board the question says find the difference in level between point a and b in the figure below neglecting weight of air all right so please keep that condition in mind neglecting the weight of air now this is actually take note please whenever a youtube manometer is connected when the both ends of a youtube manometer is connected to a pipe when the both ends of a youtube manometer is connected to a pipe it is simply called a differential manometer okay so keep that in mind now in this case we have an inverted differential manometer i explained this in the previous video although the one i did in the previous video was was a differential manometer in which it is not inverted but in this case, now we have a differential manometer which is inverted. Since it is inverted, it means instead of having positive additions, we are going to be having negative additions. Okay, we will see that as we head on to solve this question. Now, look at this diagram very well. We've been given height of this fluid in pipe A. The fluid in pipe A is called water. Okay, and the height of that fluid, as can be seen here with these light shades, is 0.7 meters. Whereas the heavy fluid here is shown here as what air. The heavy fluid itself is shown as air, and the height of air in the pipe is given as 0.8, which is now this portion. That's the heavy fluid. Okay, and then we have another fluid here, also termed water in pipe B. We also have another fluid termed water in pipe B. So to get the height of this um, water, of course, the height of water from the datum line is simply measured from here down to this point this becomes the height of water and it is simply the summation of the entire height obtained here so it becomes 1 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 okay the total height here becomes 1 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 and this will give us 2.5 meter this becomes the height of water on this other side of the pipe now normally or usually we are supposed to be given specific gravities but these values or this liquid here or this fluid here should have a constant specific gravity so you're expected to know that the specific gravity of water is equal to one specific gravity of water is one and since i also have water here it means its specific gravity also here is equal to one okay and we have air here now take note the condition of the question says neglecting the weight of air neglecting the weight of air so which means if you're neglecting the weight of air and we know that specific gravity measures the weight of a, a substance to the weight of water so which means if the weight of air is neglected that means specific gravity of air is zero automatically from the condition of the equation so keep that in mind neglecting the weight of air hence specific gravity of air in this case is equal to zero so these are all the parameters we need to solve this problem every other thing every other method of analysis remains the same remember imaginatively bisect this youtube manometer into two that means this becomes my left hand limb this becomes my right hand limb so if i bisect this into two i have something like this call this y call this y vertical bisection therefore this becomes my left hand limb now on the left limb what do i have this is pipe a then remember the pressure of pipe a becomes ha this becomes the pressure head of pipe a now i have water in this pipe so i will need to find the pressure head of the water in the pipe i also have air in this pipe i also need to find the pressure head of air but not forgetting that specific gravity of air here now becomes zero since we are neglecting the weight of air now having these conditions in mind let's move over to solve this problem so considering the left limb considering left limb considering left limb okay total pressure head is now equal to first of all pressure head of the pipe a you have it as h a <clears throat> let's bring it down here so total pressure head p h is is now equal to okay remember the first pipe there on the left limb we have pipe a pressure head of pipe a becomes h a you keep this aside now normally had this not been an inverted youtube manometer we would have added with a positive sign but now since it's inverted it means our addition is going to be negative in that case it becomes minus okay so it becomes ha minus 
minus the pressure head of the water and pressure head of water is given a specific gravity of water multiplied by the height of water in the pipe the height of water in the pipe is 0 0.7 specific gravity of water is 1 so we simply have 1 times 0 0.7 minus again because this is an inverted differential manometer so you always add by subtracting okay all right now for the air we also have air on the left hand of the limb or on the left limb there is also air the height of air on this limb is 0 0.8 but not forgetting the conditions is neglecting the weight of air and i said since you're neglecting the weight of air it means automatically specific gravity of air becomes zero because specific gravity measures the weight of a substance to the weight of pure water and since they say neglect the weight of air it means automatically specific gravity of air becomes zero and its height in this left limb is 0 0.8 therefore it becomes minus zero times 0 0.8 this becomes total pressure head on the left limb and therefore pressure head is now equal to we have a ha 1 times 0 0.7 remains 0 0.7 so ha minus 0 0.7 of course, minus 0 times 0 0.8 becomes 0. Automatically, everything is off. You keep this aside. Now you consider the right hand limb. So, considering the right limb, considering the right hand limb, okay, considering the right hand limb, total pressure head is now equal to. Now, on the right hand limb, Remember, there is a water, there is a pipe here, pipe B. So you consider the pressure head of this pipe. The pressure head of this pipe is labeled as what? HB. That becomes the pressure head of the pipe here. All right, so you put it down, HB. Minus, because it's also what? An inverted differential manometer. Minus the pressure head of the water on this pipe. On this pipe, we only have water above or below the datum line. Sorry. We only have water below the datum line. All right, so it becomes um pressure head of the pipe minus the pressure head of water and pressure head of water on this pipe becomes specific gravity of water times the height of water the height of water here is 2.5 specific gravity is 1 so you simply have minus 2.5 multiplied by 1 so this implies that total pressure head is now hb minus 2.5 multiplies 1 remains 2.5 Alright, so if you have this now, then you can now from the equilibrium condition, I said at the section point, okay, at this point xx, that's the equilibrium point, the total pressure head on the left hand limb equals the total pressure head on the right limb. Therefore, you equate the two of them. If you do that, this simply implies that HA minus 0 0.7 is equal to HB minus 2.7. So these two are equal from equilibrium condition. Now, if you have this, let's now send HA over to this side of the equation. Send minus 2.5 over to this side of the equation. Now, if I'm moving HA, it means I'll be left with zero, minus 0 0.7 here. So I have a minus 0 0.7 and that is equal to. Also, if I'm moving minus 2.5, it means I'm going to be left with what? HB here. All right. Also, now... Um, I want to send minus 2.5 over here. Negative sign cross and equal to sign becomes positive. So this becomes plus 2.5. And this is now equal to since I'm I, I've, I've moved, since I've moved minus 2.5 over here, it means I'm left with HB here. You put it down, HB. And then remember you're sending H over to this side. It is positive here. If you cross and equal to sign, it becomes negative. So you have minus H. Okay, so from here, minus 0 0.7 plus 2.5 will give us 1.8. And that is equal to HB minus HA. Remember the question says, find the difference in level between point A and point B. Therefore, the difference in level HB minus HA is equal to 1.8 meters. This becomes the answer to that given question. Now, if there's a need to convert this to um, gauge pressure if there's a need to convert to gauge pressure it still remains the same by pressure by gauge pressure you have pb minus pa and that's equal to density times gravity times hb minus ha it doesn't change so this is now equal to density is 1000 
gravity is 9.81 and then hb minus ha gave us 1.8 multiplying all through by 1.8 if you multiply all this through you're going to have the pressure head in terms of gauge pressure and if you do that you obtain that pb minus pa is now equal to let's multiply that through you have 17658 pascal that becomes the answer in terms of gauge pressure all right guys so that becomes it for that particular question i hope you find this video interesting and helpful please if you do i would like to get your thoughts in the comment section and of course if you're new to the channel do well to subscribe to the channel like comment and share this video i will see you in the next video um, with another wonderful question on differential manometer thanks and cheers